How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and today we are starting a brand new series called Poser Police. We are going to be taking a look at some influential car people, judging their content and seeing what they bring to the table. TikTok is full of a bunch of car creators that just spam shit content and then they get brand deals and then they just spam brand deals and it's a way of getting a bag, don't get me wrong. You know, if you gotta get that bag, I'd rather you do that than sell drugs to kids. That being said, it doesn't mean you can't be judged based upon that. And that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be taking a look at a certain car content creator that I've been tagged in a thousand times, I feel like, and I've browsed through the page, I've seen what he has to offer, and I just ain't feeling it. This content has to be aimed at like nine year olds and below. I can't imagine an adult male actually looking at the stuff and like enjoying it, but hey, to each their own. In this series though, we are going to be looking at the content, not the person or the cars. So they could have a really nice car, they could have a really shitty car, they could be great looking, they could be ugly, then none of that matters. We're just looking at the content. I'm not here to bully people, I'm just looking at their content. That being said, let's dive into the first episode of Poser Police with Ferris. Alzubi, 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 Ferris Alzubi. Now, Ferris Alzubi is from SoCal. I've actually seen him at a couple meets. I've seen his 570 when it was wrapped disgustingly cotton candy and pink, and when it was black and neon green, both of which didn't look great in my opinion. He now has a 720S, which is a very cool car, but it is also wrapped bright neon green or highlighter yellow, whatever you want to call it. And his content consists of like three different things. We're only gonna be looking at two of them in particular, but he has very basic montages of his car, kind of just like flexing it. And then he has very fake skits of people blocking in his car and very fake skits of people acting like the car is his. And then he also has skits of like him, like trying to get girls or something. I don't know. I'm not, we're not talking about those. We're just talking about the fake skits in general. Let's go ahead and dive in with the first video though. Finished at the gym and look how this car parked next to me. All right, guys, so I just got back from the gym. Dude, look at this, right? There's no way my doors are gonna be able to open up past this and I don't know what this Mercedes is doing. Honestly, guys, this just proof right here that money doesn't buy skill. Look at this, like, on, I think he's just mad my car is faster. Like, <laughs> guys, I'm not gonna lie, this piggy is super freaking sick, but I think he wants some door to go with it, like, yeah. I've got $5 for the category that didn't fucking happen. I'm all for people doing skits and if every once in a while you're just setting something up with your buddy to make some cool video, cool. But this is like 75 to 80% of his content. And if you don't believe me, you're about to see in a second. Watch. Also, am I the only person that has nightmares about that laugh? <laughs> At first glance, this content is harmless. It really is. He's not doing anything wrong, but it's just repetitive and very, very lazy. You're about to see how repetitive it really is. These two guys blocked me in from getting in my car. Guys, you better be kidding me right now, right? So look at this. Look, what even is this? Like, why I can't get into my car? Honestly, should I just... No, that's not happening. Oh my God. Why would you do this, man? Well, honestly, time to call the freaking tow truck. Screw these guys, man. Once again, I'll double down $10 for that didn't fucking happen. Like, you have a cool car. You have a 720S. And the best content you can put out is a fake skit of two shit boxes blocking you in. That's the best you can do? Like... That's it. This is this is this is the pinnacle of content right here. I mean, maybe it just goes crazy on TikTok, but at least on Instagram, it doesn't seem to be going too crazy. But wait, there's more. Walking back from Target, and this is what I see. Dude, what in the actual fuck is this? We have four freaking cars blocking me in right now, and literally, there's no getting out of here. <laughs> Dude, the homeboy brought the entire squad. Like, I I literally don't even know what to do right now. Like. <laughs> oh no. He says at one point, the homeboy brought the entire squad. You're the homeboy. You just brought your friends and told them, hey guys, guys, stand to the side, block, block me in really quick. This shit's gonna go viral. Oh fuck. These guys blocked me in, bro. Oh my god. How am I gonna get out of here, man? Why does this always happen to me? Why? Why does this always happen to me? <laughs> Why? <sighs> There's people that actually like believe this is real. This is so fucked up. Oh no, come on, man. I'm sure his friends by now are annoyed of him hitting him up. Hey man, are you free today? <sighs> For what, Ferris? <sighs> Dude, I, I need to film a skit. I need you to come right now and block my car in. Dude, I don't got time for that. Are you gonna give me gas money? 
no, I ain't going to give you fucking gas money. I can't afford that shit. He probably could afford that shit. I mean, he does have a McLaren, but, but still, I mean, they got to be annoyed by now. I know I would be. Now let's move on to his next style of content, which is people fake flexing with his car. Let's see what this brings to the table. Caught this dude flexing my car to some girl, so I thought I would call him out. Yo, homeboy, it's you again. What do you mean? Dude, what are you doing? Bro, this is my car. <laughs> no, it's not. Unlock it! Why do I have to unlock my car? Unlock it! Unlock for her! No, bro! What? What are you doing, dude? Wait, you're filming your car? Loser! Ah! <laughs> How is it that this dude just films on every single windy day of the week? Every time he films a fucking video, all I hear is wind noise for like the first five seconds. That, and this girl definitely deserves an Oscar for her acting, okay? It's just A1, she's just... Just the whole time fucking bobblehead going back and forth. And like, even if this is like a real scenario, like how would this scenario actually have played out? This dude obviously doesn't own the car, okay? He told some girl, hey, you wanna come uh, <laughs> check out my car that uh, I can't drive because I lost my keys? Let's just sit on the hood, you know? Like, th it just doesn't make any fucking sense. It doesn't make any sense. And like the comments never really are like on his side either. The fact that someone so cringe can own a McLaren, annoying as fuck. I mean, look at the McLaren. It lets you know exactly who the hell owns it. I wonder if he's ever tracked his car. I hope he has, because it's, it's a fucking blast. But I have no idea. I don't care about that. We're just looking at his shitty content. Let's see more of these fake flexing clips. Some random dude on my car, so I thought I would mess with him. Ew, dude, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Dude, I love your- Does the dude that he obviously paid, like, again, I'm trying to imagine this is real. Does he not see the dude awkwardly recording him from 15 feet away? Like, like, does he not fucking see that? Come on, man. At least, like, make it somewhat realistic. Car, man. Dude, what do you do for a living to be forward? He's too far away to hear him from the mic, so he's giving him subtitles. Professional stepdad. Okay. A stepdad? You want to be my stepdad? Uh, <laughs> Alright, man, have a good one. Yo, bro. Dude, one more thing. Get the fuck away from my... At the end, too, he always does that. He always, like, kind of cusses out the obvious actor as if that makes it any better. The dude's not going to retaliate, obviously. <laughs> so there's no harm in saying it, but coming to a Best Buy near you. A fair skit. It does never stop though. Like you are going to get sick of this by the end of the video, 100%. Random dude was sitting on my car, so I thought it would be funny to mess with him. Yo, bro. Again, with all of the fucking wind. Like, <laughs> get a fucking wind sock or something. Record on a normal camera. Bro. Yeah, what's up? Dude, do you mind if I get a picture of the car real quick? Uh, yeah, go for it. Dude, that thing's sick, man. Yo, what do you do for a living, bro? I'm a male lingerie model. Dude, hold. It's like the same, same script too. It's the same script. He doesn't even change that up. Holy crap, I love it, man. Thank you. Have a good one, dude. Yeah, no Take care. Yo, bro, one more thing, man. Yeah, what's up? You want to get the fuck off my car, bro? Come on, bro. You want to get off my car, bro? Get the fuck off my car, bro. Like, he's writing a skit to make him seem like the tough guy in the skit. That's like writing a movie to have you fuck a model. It's not a bad idea, but I'm just saying. Yeah, sorry. I already got a Mills number. Those colors are whack. Yo, you're wearing the same colors, bro. <laughs> and his laugh, too. Oh. <laughs> What's worse, guys? The laugh or the car? Let me know down in the comments. Guys, I'm just walking back from Hobby Lobby right now, right? Dude, there's this weird guy checking out my car over there. I wonder what he's doing. I wonder what Yo, he's doing. Yo, he's not doing what I think he's about to do, right? Oh, oh my God. Because that's how you would react if someone's pissing on your car. You would just weirdly record them from like 30 feet away. Once again, like... <laughs> what? And it's the same dude, isn't it? I mean, the comments are saying, dude looks familiar. Oh yeah, I'm my pulling God. Up Fuck are you? Oh! Oh, asshole, dude. <laughs> Everyone in the comments is just flaming it up. <laughs> Fake as fuck videos. Stop them. You obviously get no likes, so no one likes them. I mean, that would mean he gets no likes, but yes. Use me as a dislike button. These videos are annoying as fuck. Nice car. It's just like so blatantly fake. Me, an adult, similar age, I can't imagine posting this stuff and like being like, damn, bro, <laughs> I'm fucking killing it, man. I mean, if it's paying the bills, do it. But like, try to get a little bit more creative. Oh my God. So I'm walking back to my car right now. 
I think this is what makes me more mad. You have your 570 wrapped fucking disgustingly, but whatever. You have your 570. You have the capability of meeting up with a friend with a GTR and another friend with a Porsche. And your best idea for content is to park in a parking lot and make a fake skit. For all I know, he has a banging YouTube channel where he actually goes out and races and does all this shit. We're not looking at that. We're looking at this. And I just, I just, oh my God, I would uh, go drive the car. I haven't even seen it turn on. Not this again. Dude, I literally am not going to be able to get out of here. Isn't he the one parked like a douchebag here? He's not Sorry, even I'm in not the waiting spot. it out this time. I'm calling security. Fuck this. He's calling security. I mean, he's not, but he's calling security because he parked like a douchebag and then two other people just parked normally in the spots. Where's the logic? The skits are losing logic. They're getting progressively worse. How does that make sense? But let, let, let's see what this one has to offer. You guys, so I'm walking back to my car right now. Dude, look at this. I'm freaking this close from losing my marbles right now. Are you freaking kidding me? I'm not even able to get out of here. At least this guy here left me some room to get out, but <laughs> it's not enough. He's still parked like a douchebag. Like, maybe that's his trick. Maybe his trick is to park like a douche so people purposely call him out on it, and then the algorithm will be like, oh, people are interacting with this. Let's push it to everyone. I mean, it got a lot of likes, so it must have worked. Also, it is two years old, so maybe it didn't work. But either way, maybe he has a, a, a bulletproof algorithm or a bulletproof system to just put as little effort as possible into his content and just make it blow up. If that's his, his mindset, then whatever. It seems to be working at least in this aspect because a lot of people are saying, don't park like a fucking idiot. So it is working. But at what price? It's like this dude saw that one meme of uh, the people like, how close I am to losing my shit and the cars are parked really close and was like, oh, let's recreate that. Let's be so original. Oh, guys, the next one. What do you guys think is going to happen based on the thumbnail? I see a 570 that is blocked in by two cars. Wait, the same cars from the last skit. I hope he paid him double for that day. Two skits in one day? Shit, this dude's working overtime. Right? What the heck is this, man? Bro, he's cutting it really freaking close, dude. The dude in the BMW at least left me a little bit of room, but- <laughs> He said the same thing! He said the same thing! This dude left me a little bit of room, so thank you, you know? Come on! What the fuck? I just- I, I can't imagine being the owners of the other two cars and being like, All right, you got your skit, man. I'll see you later. Oh, no, 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 no. Can you park them now the other way so we can just like recreate the same thing? Like, I just, I can't imagine that. Yo, his sunroof's open. Fuck it, dude. Oh my God. Yeah, because that makes sense. Record yourself committing a crime. I mean, it's obviously fake, but... <laughs> back. As if he would actually do that. All right. Um, I haven't even seen this TikTok yet, but I assume a disappointment will follow. Yo, the crazy shit's happening right now. Some guy's fucking taking air out of my tires. Because that's how I would react. Dude, this guy's fucking up my car, bro. This is crazy. This is like the craziest thing that's ever happened. Wait, I have a phone here. Why don't I just actually hold it? This is fucking crazy. Oh my god. How tiring is this shit? This dude's day consists of driving to a place to just park his car and then film shitty content all day. Yeah, should we call 911? Yeah. Right, let's fucking do it. Yeah, let's call 911. Yo, bitch! The he didn't even call 911. He just got out of the car. You're getting off script here, Ferris. Stick to the damn script. Fucking cops are out of the way. Yeah, you better fucking run, you fat fuck. <laughs> okay, that's funny. But it's funny just knowing that it's fake. He just probably... I mean, I, I don't know if he pays these people, but... It, he just is... <laughs> <laughs> he paid this guy to call him a fat fuck. This guy is like Rambo in every one of his skits. He's just he's just writing his own shit, making him the tough guy. This is great. I love this content now. I'm I'm growing to love it more and more. Yo, the crazy. Sh why would you go to a parking lot to park and then just to get in another person's car? Oh, this. Why am I thinking about it like this? This is even plausible. Ferris in a car with a female. Alrighty, guys. I'm just walking back to my car. Right, dude. What the hell is this guy doing? He's eating on my wing, man. Bro, are you fucking... This guy has the craziest life. Like, everyone is just interacting with his car. Like, they're just magnets to it, you know? This is crazy. Like, every time this guy comes out of somewhere, someone's doing something to his car. I, I can't believe it. This is wild. This dude needs to have a security guard next to his car at all times. Kidding me right now? What the fuck? 
What's up, man? What's up? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he didn't do anything. He's just laughing. He's like, I showed that guy. <laughs> I showed him. I climbed into my car. You see, if someone was eating on my car, like they were using my super spoiler as a dinner table, uh, I'd probably politely say, hey, yo, what the fuck are you doing in my car? And if they continue to eat, then I would either, I don't think I'd smack their food on the floor because I'm not a douchebag, but I'd probably be like, hey, you know, it's time to go. Get the fuck off. But I wouldn't climb into my car and start snickering. So let's see. Alrighty, guys, I'm just that walking was the end back of it? to my car. I thought he was going to like turn it on and rev it. That would have been like something, you know, some extra level something. I have yet to see his car turn on. What if it's always stuck in a parking lot because it's always dead? Now we're getting somewhere. All right, last skit. All right, it says, I finessed him. I mean, he knows their skits. He's putting skits in the description, but does that make it any better? Bro, are you freaking serious right now? It's the same kid with the Subi. I don't understand what this kid's problem is. Like, why? Why do you keep freaking doing this? Dude, this dumb kid. Because you're telling him to do it. It leaves his windows as well every single time. Because you're telling him to. Part two, baby. <laughs> All right, let's take a seat. I'll be taking this. Who would disconnect their steering wheel and leave it on their seat with the doors unlocked and the windows rolled down? I don't know who's stupider in this situation. So I'll be taking this. Give me this. What would you even do with that? Your car's automatic. What are you going to do with that? Shove it up your ass? Like, w w what's the plan here? Thanks, homie. Good luck now, dude. Yo, if anyone... He could still shift. I, I guess he can't steer, but he could still shift. Needs a new steering wheel or shift knob? I got you. That was some of the best content I think I've ever seen. Completely changing the game. Sticking to what he knows best though. Fake skits. Like I said previously, I feel like if I had, well, I do have a McLaren, but if I had those McLarens and I had friends with those cars, I would probably go out and cruise and make content on that and hang out and vlog and do all that kind of stuff like I do on my channel. I don't think I would tell them, hey, let's go park in a fucking parking lot and make a lazy ass skit. That's just me though. Let me know what you guys think though. Is Ferris killing it? Should Ferris just stick to this content? Or do you guys wanna see him drive a bit? Maybe turn on his car every once in a while. I'm sure he has TikToks and shit driving and stuff, but I'm just looking at, actually, does he even have TikToks and shit driving? I don't, I mean, this one's kind of driving. No, it's not driving. I'm sure somewhere he's posted his car driving, but I'm not really seeing it on his Instagram at least, but whatever. I mean, we don't want that mileage to go up, right? Anyways, guys, I'm not making this video to send hate to Ferris. Don't go to his page and bully him. It seems like he already has enough of that, so we don't need to send the flock. I just wanted to look at some car creators content and give my input. If you are watching this, Ferris, go drive it a little bit. Record that, change it up. I'm sure people would really love to enjoy your car going through a canyon or a race or something for all i know though you do post that on tiktok i sadly don't have a tiktok so i don't see that that is going to do it for this first episode of poser police i find him guilty on first degree charges premeditated poserness since every video is a planned skit and he will be sentenced to 30 years in the flock penitentiary with a chance of parole after 15 anyways guys subscribe to see more videos like this one hit the notification bell to flock to the videos with everyone else and until next video peace